You're often told that making pastry from scratch can be quite difficult, but I've got a really simple lard pastry that is easy to use, quick to make, and it is perfect for my curried vegetable pasties. This is a simple recipe to remember. I've got two cups of plain flour and 50 grams of both unsalted butter and lard. This is a beautiful combination for pastry because it gives the pastry a bit of tightness. So in goes the butter and lard. Now, the key to making pastry is keeping everything nice and chilled. So make sure that if you are going to make this recipe by hand, which is what I'm going to do, if your hands are warm, run them under some cold water. Using a butter knife, just cut the butter and lard into the flour until it's quite crumbly. Now I just want to use my fingers just to gently rub in the butter and the lard into the flour until it's nice and crumbly, almost like breadcrumbs. You don't want to work it too much because you don't want to heat and melt that fat. I've got some chilled water here and I'm going to add in a few tablespoons at a time and then use my knife again just to cut through that pastry. You don't want to develop the gluten so that the pastry is tough. So you just want to be careful and bring it together lightly. This is starting to look good. It's coming together. I'm going to place the dough onto my bench now and just bring that dough together. You can see that it's pressing together to form a smooth ball without having to knead it. And at this point, I'm just going to press it together. It can be a little bit crumbly and I'm going to pop that straight onto some clim wrap, press it down a little bit, roll it up. And this is going to go straight into the fridge for around about 30 minutes, but if you like, you could leave it for a few hours as well before rolling it out. And that's how simple it is to make a short crust pastry. Once you know how to do something like this, all of a sudden you can make pies, quiches, tarts, all with one simple little technique. My short crust lard pastry has been chilling. It's nice and firm, ready to roll out to make our pasties. I'm gonna chop off a little bit of this, probably about a quarter. Flour up my bench. It's a little bit of plain flour. This dough can be quite sticky, so you wanna make sure that your rolling pin has plenty of flour on it as well. And then what you just wanna do is just gently start rolling out your dough and form it into a loose circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. We don't want the dough too thin because when we roll our pasties, we need them to be a little bit solid. Now to my filling. The beauty of pasties is that you can fill them with your favorite fillings, but I'm making a curried veg pasty today. So I've just used some diced potato, cauliflower, some frozen peas and gently cook that with some onions, curry leaves and just your standard curry powder. I used Keens. You don't have to go too crazy with cooking it just to bring the flavours together. I've also chilled it in the fridge and I'm going to pop my filling straight onto the dough and then really simply, this is rustic cooking at its best, press over the dough and Press this down to form a little half moon shape. <laughs> Make sure the filling's all in there, packed in nice and tight. And then you can grab a fork and press the edges. Make it look a little bit pretty. I really love this rustic look. You can trim up the pastry if you like, but I like crimping the edge, keeping it, keeping it rustic, and then you'll get some different textures in your pastry as well. Right, just to finish these off, I've got a little bit of egg wash here. Gently paint my pasties. This will make them nice and golden. 
These are ready to now go into the oven 180 degrees for around about 40 minutes or until the pastry is nice and golden and crispy. These smell and look delicious. I love these because you can put in your favorite filling. You know, I was thinking steak and cheese would be great. They're perfect for a lunch box and you can keep them in the fridge for a few days and easily reheat them. What more could you want?